Like many people with kidney failure, Judy's condition came as a result of complications from another disease. In her case, it was lupus. Between 2008 and 2009, I had to go to the hospital 24 times in order to remove water that had built up in my body. I felt like it was the end of the world. Her doctor fought to save her kidneys, but in early 2009, they failed. She began in-center hemodialysis after being diagnosed with end-stage renal disease, receiving her treatments three times per week. She sometimes found it hard to reconcile her lifestyle needs with the demands of dialysis. She left her job and leaned heavily on her family as she struggled to manage her disease, often feeling drained and depressed. I had a few breakdowns because I was overwhelmed, but I had family to support me. After a few months, Judy wanted to transfer to peritoneal dialysis, PD. She was drawn to the idea of being able to perform her treatments at home on her own schedule. After talking it over with her doctor, she went through training. Judy's treatments were going well. However, in 2014, she had to stop performing PD. I felt great on PD, but some complications arose and I had to switch back to hemodialysis. She then returned to her center for in-center treatments. Soon after that, Judy heard about the Next Stage Kidney Care, NXKC, facility that had recently opened in nearby Jacksonville, Florida. She was curious, so she stopped by the center one day to ask some questions. She was impressed by the staff's approachability, depth of knowledge, and compassion, and made up her mind that she wanted to be treated at Next Stage Kidney Care Jacksonville. She spoke with her doctor about her intentions, mentioning how she enjoyed the flexibility of being able to dialyze at home while on PD therapy. And knowing that Judy preferred dialyzing at home, her doctor recommended she switch to home hemodialysis, HHD, four times per week. Judy completed her HHD training at NXKC Jacksonville, and she was delighted by the expertise and dedication of the care team. The staff and facilities are incredible. I felt so comfortable going to the center, I really didn't mind being there at all. Now that she dialyzes at home four times a week, Judy is thrilled at the changes she has noticed. I feel better. I have more energy. I'm more upbeat. She has also noticed some big differences in her loved ones. When I first started dialysis, my family and friends were constantly trying to cheer me up, and it was taking a toll on them. Kidney disease doesn't only affect the patient emotionally, it also affects those around them. But now that I'm happier, my family and friends seem happier too. Judy is now a Zumba and spin class instructor, teaching three times a week. Judy has a list of things she wants to accomplish now that she doesn't feel defined by dialysis. I have a lot of goals and aspirations. I want to get a transplant. I want to travel to Spain. If they happen, then that's great. If they don't, then that's okay too. Either way, I won't let dialysis stop me from doing what I want to do. 